Bay Foil on his own on 18 yards. Starting in the back straight. When they jump and reach the winning post, they have three complete circuits to go. They stand perfectly. About to jump in the Spring Cup of 1972. Strands fly back off and racing, and Bay Foyle paced away slowly, but surely off the 18 yards. Both the army began brilliantly off the front. Lord Glenn going for a gallop in the early part. All oh, full stream got the trouble. Princess Light got the backwash of it also, and it's a lucky break for Bill Reynolds because he's been able to go straight to the lead on Bold the Army. Bold the Army takes the lead on the first corner from Can You Bay. Just too good is trapped on the outside with no cover. Bill Barry being set alight, three and four deep, whipping around the field up towards the lead. Nicotine Prince snooker on the inside. Then Season Princess followed by Full Stream, Princess Light, Bay Foil, and tailed off last after galloping away as Lord Glenn. Out of the straight the first time, there's a ton of speed on, and Bold the Army is being allowed to stride. He's in front by three quarters of the length to Bill Barry, moving up on the outside of Can You Bay, and this foot just too good in the perfect spot, one out and one back. On the rail, Smith, Nicotine Prince. One out and two back, Ethan Princess, in on the fence, full stream. A length away then of Princess Light, a length of the half to Bay Foil on the outside, and Lord Glenn on the fence trails the field. Racing to the top turn again, short of nine furlongs left to go in the cup, and the leader, Bowl the Army. In front by a length to Can You Bay on the inside of Bill Barry, a length of the half to Just Too Good. A next to Nicotine Prince, cluttered up on the fence, then Ethan Princess, full stream, Princess Light and Lord Glenn. And the half length away last on the outside of Bay Foil. Inside the mile pole in the spring cup and bowl the army in front going a little bit fiercely. Lead the length to Bill Barry at the leader's wheel ahead to Can You Bay locked in. One out, one back, just too good on the rails. Pocket is Nicotine Prince, then Beacon Princess, full stream pulling hard. A length away, Princess Light followed by Lord Glenn and Bay Foil as the trailer. Bowl the army going at a solid clip as they race to the back. 11 three quarters left to run. And it's Bowl the army by a length to Bill Barry. And next to Can You Bay pocketed. One out and one back. Just too good. He'll take a power of feeding from there. In on the fence. Nicotine Prince. One out and two back. Beacon Princess. Then full stream. Princess Light on the outside. Followed by Lord Glenn. And still Bay Foil on the outside. Trails the field. Leaving the back. Moving to the turn. Four and a half furlongs to run. The bell coming up at the job. And bowl the army as the leader, being left alone in front by one length to Bill Barry, a Mexican U Bay. On the outside is just too good. There goes Princess Light now. Princess Light with a scintillating burst around the field. In the middle, season Princess Nicotine Prince in a hopeless pocket. Then full stream Bay Foil is trailing Princess Light and Lord Glenn is the trailer. Out of the straight after the bill, three furlongs to go in the cup, and it's Bowl the Army, the leader. From Can You Bay on the fence, Bill Barry in the centre, just too good, hooked out, three deeper coming with a big run. Nicotine Prince coming off the fence, he's clear now, Nicotine Prince. Then Princess Light, Ethan Princess, and Bay Foil will have to be Cardigan Bay to win from there. Fast the two furlongs, fed Bowl the Army, the leader. Just too good on the outside is throwing down the gauntlet. Can you bay behind them? Nicotine Prince on the outside, followed by Full Stream and Bill Barry. Into the straight bowl, the army, the leader. He's gone for the rip on just too good, which is making little headway at the moment. Further out, Nicotine Prince, but bowl the army before your old is still in front. They won't get bowl the army. By G is a great paper, and bowl the army's won the spring cup. Bowl the army, a half length to just too good. A length away third, Nicotine Prince inches in front of Full Stream. A long way back, Can You Bay, Princess Light, Bill Barry, Seaton Princess, Bay Foil, and tailed off last is Lord Glenn in the Spring Cup of 1972. The winner is number three, Bowl the Army, winner of the Spring Cup for 72, driven by Bill Reynolds. Who will thank his lucky stars that Lord Glenn has failed to go away for about the first time in five years. I can never remember seeing Lord Glenn gallop away in a race before, but he certainly picked the right note because I'm going to say this much and I, I put my life on it. Had Lord Glenn stepped away and left, Bold the Army would have been trapped on the outside for the entire race. There's no betting on that. Reynolds was able to go to the lead. He was left alone, which also helped Although the leader did want to go a little bit fiercely, Reynolds succeeded in settling him pretty well with about six furlongs to go. 
I thought Just Too Good would still beat him home after enjoying a perfect run. Pike came out at the three. I thought he might have left it a little later to come out because there was really no reason to go at that stage, but he knows the horse better than we do. Uh, Princess Light was starting to run around the field, as Ken pointed out, so that probably had something to do with his decision. Nicotine Prince dropped clear in a twinkling, and he ran on pretty well, Nicotine Prince. He was never going to beat either of the first two in the run down the straight. And here are the numbers officially now. Three, six, and four. The winner number three, Bol Biami. One of very few four-year-olds to win the Spring Cup. A bay horse by Stormy Way out of Brown Lulu. Raced by Mr. W. McKenzie and Mrs. L. J. Reynolds. Trained and driven by Bill Reynolds of Stockton. Number six has run second. Just too good. A bay horse, a five-year-old by Deep Adios out of Ella's Command. Raced by Mr. N. H. Pike. Trained and driven by Keith Pike. And number four, Nicotine Prince Bird. A brown horse, a four-year-old by Smokey Hanover out of Hindu Princess, trained and driven by Ron Peace. Fourth, last mile. Two, one, and four fifths. Last three, 44 and one fifth. And the last half mile in 58 and two fifths. A great four-year-old, Bol Biami, winner of the Pacers Derby as a three-year-old. Billy Reynolds has had a lot of knockers, but you can't do much more than win a derby in a spring cup. Um, and that's exactly what he's done with Bowl the Army, and congratulations to Bill Reynolds. Admittedly, things went his way tonight, but uh, I suppose in, in whatever horse had won the race, uh, you're entitled to say that, that, that something went their way. And in Bowl the Army's case, Lord Glenn blew the start, and that made the race for Bowl the Army. There's the all clear notified, the winning margin three yards, two and a half yards between second and third, and at the time, 3.34 is three and two-fifth seconds outside the race record held by one of the all-time greats in Atmat, who died some months ago, and Atmat established that record in winning the Spring Cup in October of 1960. All clear on the Spring Cup of 72. False Dream did a good job to run on strongly and beat all bar the place getters. Bill Barry dropped out of it after having a hard run outside the leader. Can You Bay was there for a long, long time. In fact, he was still in third place as they approached the home corner, and it was only in the last bit that Can You Bay dropped out of it. Princess Light made a fast run from the tail of the field, three deep. She moved up into about fifth position, going to the bell. But he was beaten soon after that, and as I said in the run, Bay Foil, uh, with Bol the Army getting over his last half in 58 and 4 fifths, and his last three in 44 and a fifth, what hope did Bay Foil have of beating him, having to give him uh, seven or eight length starts? And it's as simple as that. As I said, Bay Foil would have had to have been Cardigan Bay to win from there.